What's up guys, Brandon Johnson here again and thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at Key to the Highway. This is a classic Delta Blues finger style song originally by Big Bill Brunzi and then made famous later on by Eric Clapton. That was a great version of this song of Eric Clapton and Dwayne Allman playing it on the Derek and the Dominoes album from back in the 70s. And when they originally recorded the song, they were just jamming in the studio and Tom Dowd, the producer, told the engineer to hit record because it was just so damn good. The song is in the key of A. It uses a really, really cool blues turnaround. It's also got a really cool lick over the E7 chord. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's check it out. Okay, let's take a look at key to the highway. So we're making use of almost the entire fretboard, uh, fret 1 to fret 12. So we're going to be playing over the entire, almost the entire fretboard here, the entire usable fretboard. And we're starting off with this fairly common uh, chromatic blues walk down or blues turnaround, however you want to call it. And we're starting over the, uh, the A chord. Okay, so we're starting over an A chord. And we're going to start actually with this pickup. The first, so if you'll notice there, the first two measures are pickup measures. So the first measure and the second measure before measure number one are considered pickup measures. So they're not part of the eight bar blues form in this case. They're just kind of an intro or a pickup. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start this pickup on the second count of the measure. So we're going to say one, two, and on the two count, we're going to start. So it's going to be one, two. So what you'll see there is you'll see five on the D string and five on the high E, three times. And you'll notice that I'm doing it kind of with a claw motion with my right hand, with my index finger and my thumb. Okay, so you play that three times, and then after that, you're simply going to move your index finger down one fret. Play three more, and then you're going to move it down another fret. And what I like to do here is I actually like to replace my middle finger with my little finger. So when I move it down, I'm going like this. So you're not actually changing the note you play on the high E. You're playing that you're switching the note that you're playing on the D string. You're going down to the third fret from the fourth fret. But you're simply replacing your middle finger or your ring finger with your little finger. And you're doing that so you can stretch further into the next part, which is going to be a D, a second fret D. See at the beginning of the next pickup measure, you'll have that second fret D to open E. And of course that second fret D is in the E major chord, right there. And then the open E is in the E major chord. So you're playing this chromatic walk down over an A chord into an E chord. You can actually slide into that if you want. Or you can just play it straight. Okay, and then looking at the next pickup measure, we're starting with this. And then right when we play that, we're going to get into the E7 chord position. Of course, it's just an E major with the ring finger removed. And then we're going to take our little finger, we're going to place it on the third fret B. And then we're going to do basically a series, a series of, of finger picking moves here with the right hand, where we're going to go, we're going to do a little bit of a hammer on with our left hand, the little finger on the B string. So it's a hammer on from open B to third fret B while holding that E. Okay, 
And so we're landing on that E7 chord, and what we're doing is we're kind of riffing off of this B string second fret to open E. So we're kind of alternating between that in a bluesy way. Okay, so let's play the entire pickup measure now. So that's the first two measures before measure number one, all the way through. And remember, we're starting on the two count for this chromatic blues walk down. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the pickup or the intro, right? And the intro, and you'll hear that again later on in the song, and it, it's used as a turnaround as well. So that exact same section, those two measures that we just went over, are also used at the end as a turnaround. So looking at measure number one now, we're going all the way up here to the ninth and 10th fret. And basically what we're doing is we're taking a D, a D chord shape and we're moving it all the way up to the ninth fret. And we're, we're plucking it with an A open bass note. So we're hitting that, that open A and we're kind of plucking this, this D chord shape moved all the way up the neck all at once. And what you'll see there in measure number one are four clusters of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're creating kind of a pulse, like a, a bluesy pulsing sound with the guitar here. And that's why a lot of these are in groups of three, you'll notice. Um, and we're hitting these all at the same time with, with the bass note, or you could do it without the bass note. And the reason I have it written here without the bass note is because I wanted to emphasize dynamics right here. So we're not just going... We want to have a little bit of dynamics with our playing. So we want to go... So we're still plucking the A note, but we're emphasizing it on the one, on the quarter note. So one, two, three, so we're emphasizing that open A bass note on, the, on those downstrokes, on those clusters of three. And again, we're doing kind of a claw motion here, and I'm using my three fingers, my, my ring, my middle, and my index, and my thumb, and I'm kind of anchoring it with my little finger here to give it kind of a, a, a base or, or a foundation to rest on. Okay, and then moving on to measure number two, we're, we're going to stick to this ninth fret now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take our index finger and we're just going to lay it across the top three strings on the ninth fret. And then we're going to place our middle finger down here on the tenth fret, high E. Okay, so that's kind of our, our starting shape right there. We're playing over an E here, so we might want to use the low E as the bass note. And we're going to start out with just an upstroke and a downstroke, like that. And if you watch Clapton play this, he's not really articulating this really carefully with his fingers, but he's actually kind of brushing and swiping, kind of in a rough way. And it creates a, a very percussive sound and a lot of pulsing, and that's really what you want. So, you know, you don't need to worry about being super articulate with these notes. You can kind of find your own way to, to play it and to be kind of rough with it if you want. So there's a, there's a lot of options here. So over this E chord, measure number two, we're going to play an upstroke and a downstroke, kind of like that. And I'm just ta I'm just taking my index my my uh, the pads on my fingers on my right hand, going up, and then bringing back bringing them back down, kind of with the back of my fingernails. Okay. So after you do those brush strokes, we're going to hit it with four rapid plucks, and it's going to sound like this. Okay, and right after this, we're going to place our little finger on that high E. So we're playing this over an E chord, so you can use your low E as a bass note, but you could also use your A as a bass note, or both. Kind of use them both together.
Okay, so let's go over measures one and two, start to finish. Remember, we're taking this D shape and we're sliding it all the way up to the ninth fret. So we're looking at nine, G string nine, B string 10, E string nine. But we're strumming it with an open A bass note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm looking at measure number three now. We're gonna do a similar move where we did an up down up here. We're gonna do a similar move here, except this time we're gonna do open E, open low E to second fret low E. So it's gonna be like that. And I'm kind of just doing this with my thumb. Okay, so where before we did kind of the same move, except we're doing open E to second fret E. And I like to play this with my middle finger because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna land on that second fret low E, and then we're gonna play a D7 chord shape on the high strings. Okay, so that's your D7. And that's gonna be G string second fret, B string first fret, and then E string second fret. You can see I'm playing that with these fingers and the middle finger is way up here on that second fret low E. And if you watch Clapton, he actually plays that second fret low E with his thumb and then plays the D7 chord like this. So if that was something you wanted to do, you could certainly do it that way. And you're wrapping your thumb around to play that second fret low E. And then you're fingering that D7 chord with your index, your middle, and your ring. But I actually prefer to play it this way. I don't know why, it just feels more comfortable for me. And it's just a different way to play a D7 chord. So we're going to start in with that open E to second fret E. And then we're going to then we're going to play the D7. And then we're going to take our index finger and we're going to let it off. And then you'll see those two at the end. Now again, that's going to be another up down stroke type thing. So it's and again, we can be rough with our strumming here. This is a, this is the kind of blues song where you don't need to be really articulate with your picking. We're doing kind of a combination of, of picking, finger picking, and also strumming with kind of the back of our the back of our nails, kind of this kind of thing, and also with your thumb, the back of your thumb. You're kind of doing upstrokes. Okay, and then in measure number four, we're playing a very similar thing. We're doing that same hammer on, except this time we're gonna be finger picking a little bit quicker, kind of like with those three note clusters we did. We're gonna kind of continue that pulsating blues feel. So the, the thing is kind of pulsing along and you wanna create that kind of cohesiveness with, with a pulse through your strumming, because that really gives it a, a, a feeling. You know, it doesn't make it sound like you're just trying to play it. It really gives it a, a, a feel, you know, it's kind of, overarching feel to everything, you know, beyond the notes themselves. So we're doing this, the open E to second fret E. Okay, so let's play measures three and four together, start to finish. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's play the entire first part, measures one through four, with the pickup. And remember, we're coming in on this pickup on the two count. So when I count one, two, three, four, there's gonna be a one count, a silent one count, and then the start. 
and focus on creating a pulse with your strumming. So focus on a consistent pulse. One, two, three, four. Thank mm -hmm. you.